Okay guys, enjoying watching us react to these Naruto clips? If so, please use the link in the video's description and support Masashi Kishimoto and all official Naruto releases. Thanks guys! Okay guys, whether we like or dislike Sasuke, one thing is for certain. As I mentioned before, he certainly knows how to jump out of the frying pan right into the fire. Because <laughs> first, he goes out and seeks out Orochimaru and um, gets what he needed from him. But then, of course, at the end, ends up in a battle with him. Fortunately, Orochimaru is sickly and Sasuke wins. So from there, he goes out to find out his insanely, to seek out his insanely powerful brother, who he's wanted to kill since he was a child because his brother's a douchebag and killed his whole family, and that's that's just naughty. Finally finds him, is in a major life and death struggle against him. Itachi loses his life, Sasuke's beat to shit. You think, oh, okay, he finally accomplished what he wants. No, now he gets to go be brought in by Madara. And who the hell knows what Madara has in store for him. So regardless of anything else, I can say this. Sasuke deals with a lot of shit. <laughs> but I'm anxious to see because what they were leading to is Madara telling more backstory of Itachi. And I'm hoping that happens. I really want to understand more of that. It was cool how Itachi gave Sasuke uh, that... Um, I, I forgot the name of that um, Sharingan ability. But basically to kill Madara. That was pretty badass. Plus... The uh, Leaf Crew is closing in as well, so things things are things are quite interesting. To protect me, you've got to be kidding me. I'll say it once more: you think you know all about your older brother, but you know nothing. <laughs> if you continue spouting such nonsense and lies, I'll kill you right here. Wow. <sighs> I am Madara Uchiha. No, you're Toby a good boy. I know everything there is to know about Itachi. If your Excuse brother me, who risked everything for the sake of the Shinobi world, the Hidden Leaf Village, and most of all for you, his younger brother. Wow. You will know how Itachi Uchiha lived. Why, I wonder, is this important to Madara to tell him? Whoa. With the third Hokage dead. There are only three Donzo. others left to know the secret. And they are likely to never reveal the abominable truth that they're hiding. The truth about Itachi will fade into darkness forever. Those old people Just I didn't like anyway? Itachi himself are secret keepers? Protect me. The truth. This is fascinating to me. I've been waiting for this. Remember. Learn more about Itachi. Think back carefully and remember Itachi. <laughs> Your kind and gentle older brother. Oh, oh, kind and gentle older brother. Oh, goddamn. You know, I've been wondering something. It's gonna How suck so hard. The Uchiha clan is part of the Leaf Police Force insignia. To find what out if Tachi was a noticed. good dude. Of course I did. <laughs> After he's dead? Right. Wow. Let's see. No, it's impossible. Imp no, he didn't impossible. want to protect me. He just tried to kill me. He tried to steal my eyes. Yeah. What? Oh, that's gonna be interesting. See that explained the way. My foolish little brother, Mangekyo Sharingan. And what I wanted to. What is Madara's end game with Sasuke? What does he want to use him for? Even if you do hate me. He... He thought she was my enemy. He killed our mother and father. And All he those... slaughtered our whole clan. Mm. He was a rogue ninja. All those abilities? The Akatsuki, and Sasuke can't just get out of ropes? He was my only goal. That fateful night, 
It is true that he slaughtered the entire Uchiha clan, mm. and then fled the Hidden Leaf Village. Then... <laughs> but so. it was his mission to do so. He was ordered by leaders of the Hidden Leaf. And that is just the beginning of the truth about Itachi. Wait a second, not those two old farts that I didn't like, mission. is it? In order to explain Itachi's story, I must take you back to the beginning, when the Hidden Leaf Village was founded. It's a long story, but every word that I'm about to tell you is the absolute truth. And on what ground should I believe you? Yeah, exactly. You're completely untrustworthy. I don't have any evidence that I can show you. So it's up to you to decide whether you believe me or not. But only after you listen to the entire story. Settle in, Sasuke. Nations fought for power, for the right to exist, or to expand their borders. During this time of strife, yeah, that sounds organizations typical of the world. consisted of individual clans serving as armed units. In an era where power was everything, at the cost of my friends and younger brother, I continuously sought ever more power. Damn you. Yeah. But thanks to that, I was able to awaken the Mangekyo Shinobi. We know about fully, your and I relationship with your younger brother. And with that power, I fought the Senju clan more times than I can count. Of course, it was inevitable that I would face Hashirama, the leader of the Senju clan. Hashirama would style Senju, the future first Hokage, the man who stood at the top of the ninja world. And the person that I respected most. God damn. <laughs> the story's already good. If a nation hired the Senju, their opponents would hire the Uchiha. Wow. Became rivals. The more I faced Hashirama, the more my name became known as well. To reach the next level, to test the limits of my ability. You stole your brother's eyes merely wow. to heighten your own reputation. Same thing that, that Itachi had said me? to him. I did steal them, but I did so only to obtain the strength necessary to protect the Uchiha clan. Huh. To protect our clan? I'm sure that's yes. of little the consolation to your brother. The reputation grew, so did its number of enemies. My younger brother was fully aware and agreed with it. In fact, he volunteered his eyes to me. Get out of here. But then one day, the Senju clan Real? proposed a truce with the Uchiha. And the Uchiha accepted. The majority on both sides had grown weary of the endless conflict. Where has all our mutual hatred gone, I asked. Wow. For no purpose had my brother sacrificed himself. Is it wrong that I'm kind of liking Madara a little? Probably, huh? The Uchiha and the Senju were always like oil and water. I couldn't help fearing that one day, the Uchiha clan would come to be oppressed by the Senju clan. But due to a certain incident, the Hidden Leaf's peace was short-lived. What incident? What incident? Yeah, that's all I know. There was a battle over the seat of the village leader, the Hokage. As you already know, the first to occupy that seat was Hashirama Senju. Both the village and the land of fire chose him. It was clear the Uchiha were being displaced from the power structure. Yeah. I decided to advocate ah. for an Uchiha to take the leadership in order to protect our clan. I knew that path would lead to a confrontation with Hashirama. But no one, not even a single Uchiha, supported me at all. Really? My followers shunned me for trying to rekindle the flames of war and betrayed me. Wow, that's a tough one. I see both sides of that. Madara's and the peoples. I was not only accused and berated for having personal ambitions, but more than that, they scorned me as a selfish brother who stole his younger brother's eyes in order to save his own. What man would willfully hurt his own younger brother? I swore I only wanted to protect the Uchiha. I wonder if everything he's saying is the truth. Having been betrayed by everyone, I decided to return as an Avenger. And I declared war on the Hidden Leaf Village. 
Seems like an extreme reaction, but... Send in the Nine Tails. But I was defeated. At that place that has come to be known as the Final Valley. I was said to have died there. Very cool. Now I get the significance of believe that to be so. Naruto and Sasuke Everyone fighting there. About me. History forgot about me. I really removed the Uchiha from the governing body of the village and placed the entire clan under close scrutiny all in one fell swoop. There were finally some Uchiha who recognized his true motives and there grew an anti-establishment faction that inherited <laughs> wow. the will. But it was too late. This story is really last, well put together. The leadership stayed in the Senju's hands, and the once proud Uchiha clan members were reduced to being the Senju's lackeys. And what I'd predicted came to pass. And then another incident sealed Uchiha's demise. <laughs> That's right. The attack of the nine-tailed fox 16 huh. years ago. Wow! <laughs> What do you mean by that? Only the Uchiha's visual prowess can tame and control the Nine Tails. So the elders of the Hidden Leaf Village surmised that an Uchiha was behind the Nine Tails attack. Oh, shit. But it was a spontaneous natural disaster. The Uchiha had nothing to do with it. And yet unjust suspicions persisted. But the Uchiha had tried to stage an insurrection and seize power. Did those old farts really end up fucking up everything? The village. As a result, the Uchiha were put under strict surveillance by the Anubla and, and were forced to relocate to the outskirts of the village. They became completely isolated. The third Hokage was the only one to voice opposition to, to Hokage. treatment. But Danzo of the Anbu Black Ops and the other two counselors wouldn't listen to him. In the end, the Uchiha clan was simply not trusted. And that was the beginning of the discrimination against us. Holy shit. Distrust bred hatred, and eventually their suspicions became reality. The Uchiha clan started plotting a coup d'etat to take oh, over the Fuck off, train. And so the Hidden Leaf's leaders planted a spy within the Uchiha clan to watch us. That spy was your older brother, Itachi Uchiha. Get out of here! What the fuck? And that's when Itachi's suffering began. This puts a whole new twist on good. who's a good guy and who's a bad guy, doesn't it? Oh shit, that's it! Oh, wow. Wow, this this is good. This is, I, I mean, seriously, you guys, this is some fantastic freaking storytelling right here. This is one of the things I, now, up until this point, I really enjoyed Naruto's storytelling. Yes, I know there's plot holes here and there, but seriously, any, any storytelling that goes on at the lengths that Naruto has, you're going to find plot holes here or there, but this shit... This is just fascinating. And it's funny, too, how it's shaping up like those two elders might... And again, I, I, I don't know at this point. I don't know how if everything Madara is saying is true. It certainly seems like a plausible enough scenario that I, I think he's telling the truth. But maybe I got suckered in. I don't know. But I think he's telling the truth. And in any event, if he is, that means my initial instinct on those old farts was perfect. They're douchebags. And Donzo, well... Donzo was the epitome of douchebag. We, we knew that. So, oh man, I, I, I just can't wait to learn more about this. This, this is great.